Now let's discuss question number four. So this question has two choices. You can go with any one of the question to get one mark. Here the first choice is if a line makes angle 90 degrees, 135 degrees and 45 degrees with the x, y and z axis respectively, find the direction cosines. And in the second choice, it is stating to you find the vector equation of the line which passes through the point having the coordinates 3, 4, 5 and is parallel to this vector to i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap. Now let's discuss the first option. Here you can observe the line is making the angle 90 degree, 135 degree and 45 degrees with x, y and z axis respectively. So I can say that the given line makes an angle, let's say alpha that is 90 degree with x axis, beta that is 135 degrees with y axis and gamma that is 45 degrees with z axis. So using these I can definitely obtain the direction cosines. Here value of L will be given by cos alpha where it is cos of 90 degrees. So cos 90 degrees is equal to 0. Next M it is given by cos beta. Here this is cos 135 degrees and the value of cos 135 degrees is minus 1 upon root 2. Next moving on to N. So I get here cos gamma equal to cos 45 degrees where the value of cos 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2. So in this way we have obtained the required direction cosines and you can definitely state over here that hence the direction cosines are the direction cosines are lmn that is 0 minus 1 upon root 2 and 1 upon root 2 with respect to x, y and z axis respectively. So this is the required answer for this question. If you write till this step for finding alpha, beta and gamma, you will get here half marks and on completing the value of direction cosines, you will obtain rest half marks. That means you will obtain total one marks for this question. Now let's come to the optional part. So it states to you to find the vector equation. So here it is passing through the point 3, 4, 5. So I can state that the equation of a line passing through the point A, it could be considered as A vector giving me the value equal to 3i cap plus 4j cap plus 5k cap and parallel to the vector b which is given as 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap. Here as you know if you have a line which is passing through a given point and is parallel to the given vector then that is given by r vector equal to a vector plus lambda b vector. So using this I can definitely obtain the equation of the required line as r vector equal to a vector that is 3i cap plus 4j cap plus 5k cap plus lambda times 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap. So this is the required equation of the line. So if you obtain this equation that is r vector is equal to a vector plus lambda v vector you will obtain half mark and for finding this required vector equation you will obtain rest half mark. So in this way you will obtain total one mark for solving this question. Let's discuss our next question. Now let's discuss question number five. It states here that examine whether the operation star defined on the set of real numbers by a star b equal to a b plus 1 is binary or not. If it is a binary operation, is it associative or not? So this is a two marker question. As you are quite aware that for being a binary operation, an operation should satisfy the closure property. We say that an operation star will be called as a binary operation for all a b belonging to the set a if a star b also belongs to the set a. And here as it is clearly provided that a and b are belonging to the set of real numbers then as you know that product of two real numbers is also a real number and when you add one to that product the resultant will be also a real number. 
So, this definitely satisfies this closure property and I could say that star is a binary operation on R. So, here we have obtained the required answer for first part of this question that it is a binary operation. In the second part you need to check whether it is associative or not and you know that for associative property it follows that if A, B and C are belonging to the set of real numbers where I am considering that A, B, C belongs to the set of real numbers and here we have to prove that A star B star C will be equal to A star B star C. If this satisfies then this operation will be called as associative. Next let us obtain this left hand side of that. So, here in this left hand side you can observe A star B star C will be there where firstly I will be solving B star C. So, on operating star operation on B and C I get here next B C plus 1 then on operating star on these two I obtained here A into B C plus 1 plus 1 which simplifies to the value A B C plus A plus 1. Now, let us obtain R H S where I have to obtain A star B star C. Firstly, I will be operating star on A B which gives me here A B plus 1 and let us operate star on these two elements that is A B plus 1 and C that gives me here A B plus 1 into C plus 1 and resultant here is A B C plus C plus 1. Now, you can clearly observe here this is left hand side and here this is right hand side. Now, it clearly gives me an idea that this left hand side quantity is definitely not equal to this right hand side quantity and since left hand side is not equal to right hand side that means this associative property is not satisfied here. I could now quote that hence this operation star is not associative is not associative on the set of real numbers. So, this is the required answer for the second part of this question. So, in the first part you have shown that it is a binary operation for that you will be scoring complete one mark. Next when you show that this is not associative you will be getting another one mark for this. So, which gives you total 1 plus 1 2 marks. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us proceed to our next question.